Hey, how's everybody doing today? This is James, the Solar Energy Expert, guiding homeowners to cleaner and lower-cost energy. And I'm also an author of the book titled The Top 10 Upgrades and How to Reduce Your Energy Bill by Up to 40%. In this video, I'm going to be going over how you can reduce your total number of solar panels that you have on your roof. <laughs> There's a few reasons why you want to reduce the total number of solar panels in your roof. The first reason is if you're looking into purchasing your solar system, the more panels that you have, the higher the cost will be. Secondly, the more panels that you have, the more penetrations they'll be required to mount the system, meaning that your chances of damage to your roof or having water leaks can go up as well. The third and final reason why you want to reduce the total number of panels on your roof is you may not like how the panels look aesthetically, but you decided to install them anyways, with one condition that you want to minimize the total number of panels as possible. So basically, there's only three ways to reduce the total number of solar panels in your roof. The first thing you could do is look into reducing your overall energy usage. You can start by upgrading to higher efficiency appliances. So for example, you can place old appliances to high efficiency energy star rated appliances, or you can even replace incandescent light bulbs to CFL or LED light bulbs. LEDs is the way to go if you want to save the most energy, but it costs a little bit more than CFLs. With these energy saving upgrades prior to installing solar, you'll be able to reduce your overall system size. The second thing that you can do to reduce the total number of panels in your roof is to offset less than 100% of energy with solar. What I mean by that is, ideally you want to offset as much dirty energy from the utility company to clean your energy with solar. But if you want to reduce the total number of panels on your roof, you can offset as much as you want based on how many panels you feel comfortable with on installing on your roof. So for example, if it takes 30 panels to offset 100% of your energy through solar panels, you may just want to install 20 panels and then offset only 75% of your energy consumption. But obviously, the more panels that you have, the higher your energy savings will be. That's something that you need to consider when reducing the total number of solar panels. So basically, the less amount of solar panels, the less amount of energy savings as well. And like I said earlier, ideally you want to offset as close to 100% of dirty energy to clean energy as possible. But you also want to be comfortable with how many panels you have on your roof. For me personally, I'd rather have you offset 75% of your energy to clean energy than decide not to install solar panels at all because you don't want that many panels on your roof. And keep in mind that these numbers are just arbitrary numbers that I'm using and it's only for demonstration purpose only. You'll need to get a solar code to find exactly how many panels you need for your home. The third and final thing that you can do to reduce the total number of panels on your roof is to get high wattage panels. The higher the wattage, the less panels you're going to need to install on your roof. There's a few different panels currently on the market and the wattage typically starts at 260 watt all the way up to 320 watt. And there's rumors in the grapevine that there will be a 370 watt panel in the near future, which will be a game changer and will significantly reduce the total number of panels that's used on your roof and still get a maximum amount of energy offset. So that concludes this video. Hopefully I shed some light on how you can reduce the total number of panels on your roof. Before you guys take off, please do me a favor and subscribe to my YouTube channel so you guys get all my updated videos that comes out. If you guys want to dive in deeper and learn more about solars and all your options, please be sure to visit my website at www.jamesasolarexpert.com. And while you're there, please be sure to sign up for a free, personalized, no obligation solar quote so you know exactly how much money you can save if you installed solar on your home. Goodbye for now, and I'll see you guys in my other videos.